Trump himself has not spoken in any format since this happened. No including one has been, Twitter. Including Twitter. No one has been fired. Yeah. Trump is said by various sources to be not happy with yeah. this situation. <laughs> and uh, Manafort and, and most of the campaign is saying there was no plagiarism, nothing to see here, move on. Where do we stand on what happened and what happens next? Well, let's start with what happened. Um, on the basis of all the reporting that we have available to us, including now published reports in the New York Times and Washington Post, Matthew Scully uh, and his partner John McConnell, who are famous uh, Republican speechwriters, have written many drafts for many conventions, both for uh, nominees and for their spouses, uh, draft, sent in a draft to the campaign, and then they claim, according to these reports, something happened. We don't know what happened inside. Um, there are, as you said, finger pointing to various aides have been accused. Various aides have been, quote, exonerated. Some people think that Melania Trump herself may have somehow been involved. As she said, she wrote most of the speech herself, taking her at her word. We don't know the answer to this question, but I'll say this, that we've covered a lot of presidential campaigns where a lot of bad speeches have had this storyline of some really great speechwriter wrote a really good draft and somehow in the process it got screwed up. What we have never seen is something like this. We've never seen something where there's been something that on a prima facie basis looks like plagiarism. It's a mistake. It could be an innocent mistake. It could be straight up plagiarism. Either way, it's just bad. Whoever, bad. whoever responsible in the campaign failed Melania Trump, whether she wrote the whole thing herself or not. Yeah. Obviously, the campaign said in an overnight statement she did not. And obviously, she didn't. Everyone has to be traitors at these things. They let her down because someone should have caught this. And so Donald Trump's going to face a choice. Presumably, he already knows who was involved. Yep. He's not done anything to get rid of them yet. Maybe it's someone he doesn't want to fire for whatever reason. But this has set a lot of Republicans back to being concerned about the competence right. of the campaign. And at this hour, just a few hours before the evening session begins, and Donald Trump is due to be nominated, they have done nothing to turn the page on a narrative which is killing them. It has consumed this day. It yeah. retroactively ruined everything about yesterday. Including the fact that she gave a fantastic speech. Gave a very good speech. speech. And I will say, look, however she got this draft, got it to final form, any real presidential campaign operating pro professionally, and I've talked to like a dozen strategists today who said the same thing, we now have software that does this. This isn't even a manpower thing. Every college professor in the country, a lot of high school professors run their students' papers through software that determines whether there's matches. This could have been done with just a little bit of minimal vetting, and that's what you would have done. The final draft goes to the vetters. They make sure there aren't any heinous mistakes of this kind. That obviously did not happen here, and that goes to this question of, does the Trump campaign disarray and dysfunction, does it have actual real-world consequences? Can they just do things differently all the time? This is a real-world consequence right here. Corey Lewandowski choosing to speak out against Manafort that way. Yes. You know, a huge departure. We can't find any evidence of anything he said on CNN since he became a contributor there coming close right. to the level of criticism. Right. They've obviously been rivals. And now within the campaign, clearly, there are going to be people who are wondering, how did this happen and what are the consequences of making such an error? Well, for sure. And look, I mean, well, we'll move on to the next topic. There's more to say about this.